Hey everyone, welcome to this lesson on proportions and spatial relationships. All right, so you'll see here that I'm starting to draw the apple and the teapot. There's only one problem though. Even though these drawings look pretty good, what's the issue? You'll see that the proportions are off, meaning the size of things are not correct. So the apple is definitely not the same size as the teapot. So let's fix that. Okay, so you'll see that in this drawing, I fixed the proportions, but now we have an issue. What's that issue? Yep, it's the space between the items here. That's a spatial relationship problem that we have going on right there. Spatial relationship is just referring to the way things are placed and how close or how far they are from each other how they're overlapping. So you'll see here the squash is overlapping the teapot, and you'll see the squash is also uh, overlapping the jar. And you just want to pay attention to how much is overlapping, where it's overlapping. And if it's not overlapping, then how far apart is it? How tall are things? How far are they spaced from each other? Okay, You can get the size correct on all of these different objects, but if they're not placed together properly, then you're not drawing accurately based on your reference. Now that might not be totally important when drawing a still life or drawing jars and pots and flowers and fruit and things like that, but let's look at an example of a person. Spatial relationships and proportions are so important when drawing people in order to make it look like the certain person that you're drawing. Okay, so this is Mel Gibson, he's an actor. And here's a drawing that somebody did of that actor. It's a pretty good drawing, it's okay, right? But there are some things that could be better. You'll see that there are spatial relationship issues and proportion issues that cause it to look a little off. And if you turn this drawing back into a photograph, then you can see how things are really distorted. You can tell that even though it was a good effort, it was good drawing, there are definitely some things that we could improve on to get the proportions right. Now you'll see in this sketch that I've done of Mel Gibson, I've made sure that the proportions and spatial relationships are correct. I've paid attention to the size of each thing, each feature, okay? So now we're going to draw this still life. That's what it's called when you just have um, items that aren't moving, that aren't alive. So this still life drawing, um, we're going to pay attention to the spatial relationships and the proportions, okay? The biggest thing here is, remember, I'm just using basic shapes, circles, ovals, rectangles, and then once I get things placed where I need them to be, then I can start to add some more shape and definition to the different forms. For some reason, I didn't draw the grapes until later on. I have no idea why I did that. There we go. Now I've got the grapes in there. Now you'll see here that I'm trying to pay attention to the way things overlap, the way things are sized, the way things are positioned. A lot of times people will draw the opening of a pot the wrong way. They'll draw it with a wide opening. But that would only be possible if we were looking right into it. So you need to think of it as like a very narrow, very skinny oval and you can just barely see the opening of that pot. So pay attention to that. Now I can start to add a little bit more detail, define the grapes, and remember this drawing does not have to be perfect, but it should look as close to the photograph as possible in terms of where things are placed, the size of things, your angles, okay? Make sure you pay attention to your lines to make sure they're, for example, for the jar, that it's straight up and down, that you don't have a slanted, leaning jar of pizza. 
make sure you are paying attention to those little things, okay? Now I can add a little bit of the detail of the cloth, but I don't want to stress out about all of the cloth detail. I'm adding a line in the back to define where the table is, and I create a line through the entire drawing, even through the pot and the jar. That way I get a consistent line, and I know it's going to be straight, and it's going to be perfect all the way across. And then I erase inside the pots where I don't need that line to show. That way it'll be consistent. Okay, so when I put this drawing on top of the photograph, it's pretty close. It's not perfect. The apple could be over to the left more and maybe down, but for the most part, things are pretty accurate. So I'm pretty happy with this drawing. Now the assignment is to draw from this picture the very best you can, just like I did in this video. Draw things with proper spatial relationships, with proper proportions. I want to see all five objects in the drawing. So the apple, the teapot, the squash, the jar, and the grapes. Notice that the cloth is interacting with those objects, uh, so it would be great if you could add some of that detail in as well. Don't spend forever on the cloth. The objects are what I'm most worried about, so make those look great. You do not need to add shading. You do not need to add a major detail like the pattern on the teapot. Just do the best you can to create those basic shapes, the basic outline, okay? That's what we're focusing on right now. All right, thanks so much, you guys, and we'll see you later.